leaving our hotel, which I'm not really sure if it's actually a hotel. Some people call it a hostel, some people call it a hotel. Anyways, we're going to a real hostel now and we're going to see how we do. Not sure how we're feeling about it. are switching hotels but the most exciting part of the day is we're going on a wildlife safari fingers crossed we see grizzly bears and black bears maybe moose i just can't wait we have about a 20 minute walk to our next location should we be taking a taxi probably but are we no our 20 minute walk starts with a beautiful view of the mountain and of the river. We're walking down Banff Avenue right now, which is Main Street with all of the shops and restaurants, anything you could want here. Well, we're about five minutes into our walk and we decided it's time to stop for a beaver tail. Take yours. Ah, oh gosh, it's so big. Okay, the original with cinnamon and sugar. And this one, oh. the choco vanilla with Oreo chocolate syrup. And then this vanilla paste they put on there. They look <laughs> really good. <laughs> they are. They're really good. They're hot. And it's, this one's pretty messy. Yours isn't as messy. Okay, ready? First bite. Gotta get a good one. Mmm. It's really good. It's good that it's warm. Mmm. So good. We're eating beaver tails because this is Canadian. We try to find as much authentically Canadian food that we can. And since this was created in Canada and there's probably only about like two stores in the USA, I figure this would be the perfect opportunity to try this. Okay, let's see. This one's really messy. Oh, it's already spilling all over my hands. The fried dough. Wow. That's a good treat. We're sitting here at this coffee shop now. We still have our bags with us. We're still on the 20 minute walk to our next place, but we can't check in for at least like three or four hours. So now we're here working, trying to edit these videos. And then after that, we will move on to our hostel. And then the wildlife safari. And the wildlife safari. And check out how cute this place is. Super cozy. Got a large cappuccino. day has taken another detour and now we are getting some food. It says Chinese slash Asian food. I'm actually going to get Pad Thai. So I think that's Thai food. So I don't know, but it looks good and I'm excited because we're really hungry. These are pork wontons and they're supposed to be spicy. Should I just eat the whole thing in one? Guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Jacob asked for some chili sauce. I'm getting more tolerant to spicy foods. <laughs> Plus in Canada, everything is really mild. Still got the suitcases. Going strong. Still got them. We made it. We finally made it to our hostel. It was only supposed to be a 20 minute walk, but we turned it into like a five hour walk because we made a lot of stops. And our wildlife safari starts in about an hour and a half. So we're going to get checked in, put our bags down, and then we'll be back out here ready to see some bears. Oh my gosh. Top floor, no elevator. They really make these for backpackers, not for people with rolling suitcases. Whew, we made it up the stairs. We arrived into our hostel room. We have a private room, Woo! which I feel like is much different than most of the people staying here, but it's our first hostel experience. We want a private room, at least right now. Maybe we'll move into a dorm later on at some point, maybe when we go back to Europe. So this is our bed. It's, let's see, let's test it out. Not the best bed, but also could be a lot worse. 
They even give us a TV in here. It looks like we have Roku, so that's cool. It's wow. actually quite nice in here, except for this uh, slanted ceiling. <laughs> yeah, I just, hit, I just hit my head. And uh, that's that's it. This is all. We I got guess... a quite a nice view, though, out here. I'm really digging this. It's raining, as you can tell. It's kind of cute, actually. I'm kind of digging it. I like it better than I liked uh, the last place that we had. Yeah, we just don't have a desk or, like, a chair. Oh yeah. Because we could probably use this as a desk, but we just don't have a chair. There's a little stump. <laughs> the unfortunate part is we have to share a bathroom. I feel kind of nervous about it. I'm going to try to not drink a lot of water or any liquids so I don't have to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night in the hallway. I feel like I'm being dramatic. I lived in a dorm at U of A where I had a shared bathroom with like guys and girls, so I shouldn't be being this dramatic, but it's been like, oh my gosh, six years since I was in college. The shared bathroom, I don't think it's a big deal because we only share it with like two other rooms and True. there were also like private rooms. We're not sharing it with like a bunch of people. So I think the bathroom's small. Oh, we're gonna have to shower in there too. Eh, it should be fine. There's I'm not scared about showering. I'm just scared to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. That's what weirds me out. Wow, it is somehow pouring rain, but also kind of uh, blue skies. I don't know how this is possible. So we wanted to take wine on our uh, wildlife safari, so I just empty my coffee cup. <laughs> We're gonna put wine in it. I washed it out as much as I could, don't judge me. Not too much. Our wildlife safari is here. We're getting on the bus. In this time of year, you don't usually have the rams, the ewes, and the lambs together all at the same time. And I see a ram, I see one ewe, and there's some lambs right there. So let me get a little further forward so you guys can get a good view of them. Yeah, so like I was saying, this is actually a very lucky sighting to see. At this time of the year, you don't usually see all three of them together. This month of September, we are doing a giveaway to give back to you. We are going to donate half of the money to charity and half the money to one of you, our subscribers. The way you enter is you have to comment on every single video we post in September, and you have to be subscribed. We're donating one cent for every like, two cents for every comment, and three cents for every new subscriber. But there's another catch. If we hit 5,000 subscribers this month, we are going to double the jackpot. That means double the money for you and double the money for charity Feed My Starving children. We saw no bears and it's raining on us. But well, we saw some bighorn sheep so that was pretty cool. Hoping for some bears, some moose, didn't happen. <laughs> 